My name is Jason Tiedek and I help business professionals deliver a seamless message that sticks. The first step to prepare, you all can see this, you want to get your audience to be like this dog where they're salivating to listen to you. And here's how you do it. Step one, you send them an email. I don't care if you present to them every week, you can send them an email every week and you say to them in this email, remember short, please tell me the top three things you want to know about X. And X is the name of your presentation. If you knew more about benefits, you guys tell me. If I know more about benefits at a company, am I going to be happier, successful, or more free as an employee there? If you had to pick one. Successful, she said. Why? That's Write this down. Why? Because that's the number one motivator. Why? Why do you think that is? Just shout them out. Why will I be more successful if I know about benefits? Say again. I'll have more knowledge. And why is more knowledge cool for me to know about benefits? Why do I care about that? I'm not there yet, so keep it coming. More informed decisions. If I can make better informed decisions, why is that cool? Why is that going to make me successful if I can make better informed decisions? Say again. It's going to save me money? Ooh. Hi, my name is Jason Tiedek, and I help employees save money at our organization. What do you think? Is that relevant? You might say, oh, I, that's not mine, Jason then it's probably happiness or freedom, isn't it? I help employees save time trying to figure out how to do X, Y, and Z. You feel this? Happiness, success, and freedom. There's two things that go into your speaking. You ready for this? Number one, your words. Number two, your tone of voice. Write this percentage down with me. 1882. It's not a year. It's a percentage. What percentage of your message, 18% or 82%, do you think the affect, the feeling of your audience, comes from the words you say? And what percent comes from your tone of voice? 18 or 82? 18 what? Words. And yet, what do most people prepare when they're getting ready for their presentations? Their words. That's interesting, but not very compelling. I'm going to show you how to do both today. That to make people laugh, to tell stories, to use humor, and answer questions, it depends on your style. Every single one of you said to me in the, in the tables that you wanted to be able to tell stories to keep people engaged or something like that. All of you should tell stories. Some gurus say, I'm gonna show you how to perform up here. Bad move, guru. You're a performer, but they're not all performer. You can't all be a Tony Robbins. Here's how each of these people tell their stories or use humor. Because that's what looks what? Confident. The other thing is when I'm done talking, I close my mouth. This doesn't look very confident when I'm doing my pauses. <laughs> and yet you wouldn't believe the number of people when I record them that do this. The other thing is I'm doing eye contact with everyone in the audience. If it's an audience larger than 30, which this one is, I make eye contact with every section of the audience for at least three seconds every minute. In this case, what I do is divide the room up into nine sections left, middle, right, front, middle, back, and I look at every section of the room for three seconds. Now, since you're less than 100, I'm not going to stare at a group for three seconds. That gets a little creepy. <laughs> but I am going to look at you for about a half a second, and then I'm going to move on. When your eyes look at their eyes, that makes them feel what? Safe. Many presenters say, Jason, it just feels too awkward for me to look at them all. But it's not about you. It's about them. You know what, what do most people do when they get ready for their presentations? They practice their what? Their intro. But what do they forget to do? They forget to practice their closing, which is the last impression that people are going to remember, the close of the intro. Close. That close should be just as awesome as your intro.